For my class project on American values, I wanted the perspective of some people who weren't born into this culture. I think it's hard to get a sense of what's different about America when you have always lived there. So I gathered a few friends and classmates from other countries to get their take on what values are distinctly American. Let's do this. <laughs> 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 Ready? <laughs> so you all have been studying here in the U.S. for at least a year, and I'm wondering, what would you say Americans value most? Time. I think Americans value time a great deal. And saving time and being on time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In my hometown, I wouldn't worry about being late to a meeting unless it were to meet someone very important. And as an American, I would come late only if my car broke down or I had an emergency. Exactly. Americans would think it disrespectful to be late, unless they have a very good reason. If I had known that when I first came here, I wouldn't have made you so mad so often. I was late to meet you quite a lot, I think. I just think it's kind of selfish and insensitive for you to waste my time by making me wait for you. <laughs> Yes, uh, you made that quite clear. Loudly. In the cafeteria, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I wish I had taken a picture of your face. You were so shocked. <laughs> That's another American value, I think. What's that? Being direct when expressing emotion. In Japan, even if I were very, very angry, I would never yell at someone in public. Hmm. Yeah, Americans tend to not hold back their emotions. That's for sure. In Japan, people are very disapproving of public displays of emotion. I often wish I could express my emotions with more freedom. Freedom? Now that's a big American value. <laughs> I wish I had a dollar for every time Americans talked about freedom. I didn't really get it at first. I imagined all Americans wanted to be outlaws. But then I realized it's not about the freedom to do illegal things, but the freedom to be an individual and make your own choices and decide how you want to live your life. And that's not true elsewhere in the world? No. In India, for example, it's more about the family than the individual. In Japan, it's similar, but it's more about the group, fitting in with people at work, for example. If you were a young Indian woman, you would do what your family wants, even if you disagree. So, even if I really wanted to be an actress, I would choose to study to be a doctor like my parents want? Yes. But here in America, as your roommate, I have often seen you disagreeing with your parents about things. You would follow the path your parents wanted, only if you thought it was a good idea, too. I think another big American value is the belief that everybody is equal. Yeah. Well, we're still working on that one. If we had been better about it from the beginning, I think we could have avoided a lot of war and violence. But it's more than just equality among the races. In my country, there's this sense of fate. You're born with your lot in life. If I had been born into a different family, I probably couldn't have even dreamed of coming to study in America. But here, there's this belief that everyone can achieve whatever they want. Or be whoever they want, a business leader or president, for example. Yes, if only they will work hard enough. That's very uniquely American, I think. Yeah. I can't imagine not choosing the life I want to lead. Well, thanks, you guys. This was so helpful. We're done already? Well, we could have gone longer if you hadn't been 20 minutes late. <laughs> oh, <well>. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs>